For over 90 years, Kawai Pianos has continuously innovated its piano line. In 1998, it came out with its first digital piano. For over 20 years, it continuously innovates its digital piano lines. Today, we'll be looking at the CA79 and taking a look at the features, the sounds, uh, and the brand new interface it has to offer. Hi, Patrick Marr with Alamo Music Center here in San Antonio, Texas. Find us on the web at alamomusic.com. Please subscribe, like, and sign up for notifications for all our videos. Um, you can watch me or a couple other guys who work with us. There's a bald guy who talks about guitars, this guy here. Um, he's a lot of fun to listen to. Um, but yeah, and if, we ha if you have a chance, please check us out on Teespring. Uh, the link is down below us. We're selling a lot of shirts there. Um, and we'd love to hear your guys' feedback um, and comment and subscribe below, so thanks. Today we're going to be looking at the CA79, Kawhi's newest piano um, just released at the 2020 NAMM show. Um, it replaces the CA78, which was a, an award-winning uh, predecessor, um, part of their concert artist line. The big goal of Kawhi here is to get the touch and the sound of a real grand piano in your home. Um, it comes in a nice box, so you can get it delivered right to your doorstep and have the feel and the sound of a grand piano. Um, we're going to be checking out some of the sounds later, um, and you guys can let us know how you think it sounds. They do a really good job of rendering um, what their SKEX, which is their 9-foot um, Shiguru Kawai, what that, uh, what that piano sounds like. They, they model every note. Um, it's a really incredible process. Um, they also, in this new line, have just upgraded, uh, upgraded the action, and it's called um, the Grand Feel 3. Um, and so within that action, it's a full wooden key, um, which is different from a lot of different manufacturers um, today. They're making uh, plastic shell casings and they'll put wood um, in the shell casing. Uh, but what Kawhi, uh, what they want to do is they want to make it feel as much as like a grand piano as they can. So they start with a full piece of wood um, and that's on uh, both the white keys and the black keys. And so they stay with a full wood key because that helps distribute the weight and the, and the uh, velocity of the strike. Um, they've also added a third sensor um, to the piano, so when you are playing the piano, uh, you can definitely have more infliction on repeating repeating notes and things like that. It's it's going to be it's going to be much more accurate when you're playing it. In addition to the wood key, there's a grade weighted hammer action as well as a counter weighted hammer action. Um, the counterweight is really important to the feel of the piano. It, it actually uh, represents what's happening in an acoustic piano where you have a lot of balance um, in the action of how the key is going to feel going down and also coming up. Um, it's, it, to me, it's one of the best feeling digital piano actions out there. Um, you get a, a very full feel. Um, you also feel the vibrations through the wood um, as the piano uh, gets louder, which is a really neat feature. Uh, moving on towards uh, the rendering of the piano uh, sound, uh, the SKEX is a beautiful nine-foot um, Shiguru piano, Shiguru Kawai piano, um, and they've used, they've sampled every note, all 88 of them, uh, differently. Um, and there's also 10 renderings of that piano, so you can play it voiced a little bit differently. Um, and we're going to go through some of those here in a little bit. Um, but it's really cool to to kind of hear how expressive that piano can be. Um, it's neat to to be able to to go through and and play it on a, on a brighter experience or maybe on a darker or warmer sound. Um, there's also a virtual technician within the rendering, um, so you can go through and actually adjust a lot of the the tonal curve and a lot of the feel um, of the piano. So we'll be looking at that as well. But the virtual technicians is one of the coolest um, features on the the whole concert artist line. Uh, it kind of makes the piano uh, a unique instrument, and it saves those options for you. So you can, when, I, when you turn the piano off and turn it back on, um, those are saved for you, and you can kind of get the feel that you're looking for. Some of the other cool features about the CA79 is the spatial headphoning sound system, which, when plugged in headphones in, adds depth and realism to the sound. So it doesn't sound like you just have some cans on your head. Um, it comes in a couple different beautiful finishes. Um, the one I have here is actually the rosewood, premium rosewood. It also comes in a polished ebony, a satin ebony, and a satin white, which is really beautiful. Um, it also is pretty easy to set up. You set up the legs, um, it puts together kind of like an, an easy piece of IKEA furniture. Um, it also comes with 12 lesson books um, in the memory, so you can play along with those books. 
um, and uh, you can learn and start practicing on your own at home. Um, there's a lot of cool features in this, in this unit, and I really want to show you guys some of uh, the different sounds it has. It has 66 different voices, and it has those 10 rendering. So let's take a look and a listen to it and see what you guys think.
Thanks for checking out the CA79 with us. It's brand new from Kauai in 2020. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of the features and the sounds. If you have any questions, you can head over to alamomusic.com. We have a live chat there, and uh, we can help you out with any more information that you might need. Um, again, if you could subscribe or uh, sign up for notifications for Alamo Music, um, we'd love to hear from you guys, and uh, thank you for watching the videos. Remember, life is more fun when you play music. <laughs>